In this tutorial, we will talk about geostatistical analysis. The geostatistical analysis uh, tools are available through the extension called geostatistical analyst. If you go to uh, customize and extensions, you will see um, that there is geostatistical analyst uh, checkbox available make sure you check it and this way this uh, toolbox is available to you and in order to add this toolbox to your toolbar right click and look for the geostatistical analyst and click it and you will see that those tools show up in the toolbar now if you uh, pull down the the menu and select explore data you will see the types of tools that are available here for example you can look at the histogram of uh, a certain data you can uh, create a normal QQ plot to see how good um, whether the data has a normal distribution or not or how close um, it is to a normal distribution you can do trend analysis uh, which is more of a spatial trend analysis how things are changing in space you can do a Voronoi map which is uh, similar to Thiessen polygon map that you have used in your previous classes you can do semi variogram or covariance cloud and this tells you what is the variation of a given variable in space uh, you can also if you have point data and most of the times we we, we have stations where point data is collected but if you want to convert that point data into a map um, you can do interpolation so you these in polygon method that you have used before in your civil engineering classes um, in this case there are several geostatistical wizard tools available through geostatistical wizard such as interpolation uh, Kriging in worst distance weighted interpolation um, so on and so forth and in this tutorial we'll, we'll talk about uh, those uh, things now if you go and look into your uh, lab 10 data folder you will see that there is an Excel uh, workbook with the temperature data if you open this workbook you will see that there are two sheets worksheets one is today's temperature and the second is the spatial reference for so make sure that you know that this is uh, WGS 1984 UTM zone 11 north uh, spatial reference for this data and in this data there is a list of all the weather stations in the Las Vegas Valley uh, their IDs, their names, and then you have g been given the information about their elevation, their uh, coordinates, and what is the temperature this morning um, in Fahrenheit at all these stations. So we would like to convert this point data into a map, and we're going to use uh, the geostatistical analyst to do that for us. So first of all, we need to bring the Excel sheet data into uh, GIS now uh, ArcMap and you have done these exercises many times before so I will go through this quickly first of all let's open the um, the world imagery so that we have some reference in the background you can load this imagery from your lab to exercise now let's add uh, the worksheet to this so go to add data and you have done this many times before lab 10 data LV temperature and 09 April 2012 uh, worksheet once you add this worksheet let's display this data display XY data and X coordinate is X Y co five field is Y coordinate and let's select the spatial reference and if you remember it was projected UTM WGS 1984 northern hemisphere and this is north zone 11 and OK let's click OK and you will see that the points have appeared you can zoom to this layer to see that where these points are 
um, it's not very well visible so let's change the the color and make it circles of size 12 and color yellow okay let's also um, now remember this has this is just displaying the data from the Excel sheet we need to convert this data into a shape file so export data and um, let's name it LB weather stations dot shape click save and click OK and it will create LV weather stations now you can remove the 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 Excel sheet because now you have created a shape file from the data and again you can change the label to yellow circles and you can also put labels on this by going to properties and then click the labels tab and check label features in the layer and this way you need to select which field should be the label and in this case we would like the temperature to be the label let's change the color so that it will be visible let's make it green and bold size 14 and click apply and you should see that all the temperature as at these points are now visible so um, let's save this as a lab 10 map save as lab 10 and save so now you have these point data sets and we would like to find the temperature at the the rest of the area where the values are not known and the process is called interpolation and there are so many techniques the way you can do it um, and there are several techniques available in your geostatistical analyst we will do that in the next tutorial